It's May 31st, and it's, this is only about the third time I've taken the bike into work. I had to just pull over and check and see if I actually had my office keys with me. That's one of the problems with uh, just getting used to uh, getting back on the bike this, this year. Uh, little things you forget to check. A lot of people think that riding a motorcycle is a lot faster way to go. But in a lot of ways, it really isn't. Take heading into work this morning. It's an extra 10 minutes between the time I go out and get the bike out of the garage, get my uh, work stuff and lunch into the trunk, get my gear all on, and then actually start out. Whereas if you're in the car, you're just gonna throw everything in the back seat and you're gone. It's only about 4 degrees out this morning. Uh, I know it's going to get much warmer this afternoon when I come back, but right now it's, it's pretty nippy. And I think I should have probably brought my uh, jacket liner and plugged that in to keep myself warm. Next week I'm supposed to go down to Nova Scotia, and I'm really contemplating whether I'm taking the car or taking the bike. And, uh, yeah, this to bike or not to bike is not about today or, or in a global sense. This is really just about next week and going down to Nova Scotia. The weather is still not the greatest, and it's still cool. So what, am I, what have I got to think about here? One of the first things I have to think about is just the, the travel logistics. Now, the ferry from uh, Port of Bass to North Sydney, and vice versa, leaves either at 11.45 in the morning or 11.45 at night. Now, I'm cheap. I'm not going to take the night ferry and spend $140 on a, on a cabin just for me. So that means if I go down on, on, say, Thursday night and take the overnight ferry. I've been up a whole day on Thursday. I'm going to get down there on the ferry and I'm going to catnap a few times sitting in chairs. And that's not going to be the best thing in the world. Um, it means I get off the ferry at about 7.30 in the morning and I get at least a five-hour ride into Halifax. Um, in traffic during the day uh, and uh, it means I will have been up for a long time with only some catnaps. I'm not really feeling good about that. So it's, uh, oh my helmet keeps steaming up too. But, um, so that's one option. So Looking at that, yeah, I can drive down to Port of Basque in day daylight, take the overnight ferry, and uh, and ride in the, the next morning. It'll be just fine. Now, the other option, of course, is um, taking the morning ferry. Now, because you've got to be down there two hours beforehand, that means I've got to push to be down there by 9.30. And uh, I really should count on it being a three-hour ride from my house to Port of Basque. So that means I have to be on the road at 6.30 in the morning. Well, 6.30 in the morning, even a week from this, it's going to be four degrees, no higher than that. So what I've got to look out for is, is, um, is one, is are we going to have freezing temperatures overnight? If there's going to be freezing temperatures and uh, and there's a lot of moisture around, that's going to mean, you know, the possibility of black ice. So that's another thing to contemplate. And of course, if you're uh, riding in 
in four or five degree weather, our tires are kind of hard and stiff at that point. They really don't want to be at that low of a temperature. So that's one of the things I got to think about. Uh, if I do the daytime crossing, that gets me into, oh uh, cripes. I'm going to do a video on this section being totally washed out last winter. Uh, we had, I had three days off work because the, uh, there was no road here at all. And trying to find a line through here that hasn't got a pothole, almost impossible. Um, but yeah, if I go down during the daytime, I will still get some catnaps uh, on the ferry on the, uh, the way over. Um, and I can, uh, then be looking getting off the ferry about six o'clock in the evening and I will get into Halifax to one of my sister's places, 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. Uh, it won't be dark for very long. Uh, that's the nice thing about this time of year. The days are really, really long. It still makes for a very long day but it feels like that's much more doable. And here's another section that got mostly washed out. Just a little, oh yeah. And coming up, uh, this is an area where I keep on seeing this cow moose at least a couple times a year. So it's like, you gotta just totally be paying attention. Eyes going from one side of the road to the other side of the road and back again. And uh, yeah, just, just keeping an eye out on what might come out of the shadows there. So here's my dilemma. Do I take the bike? Um, which is going to be a lot more fun. Uh, as well as being a lot cheaper. Uh, or do I bite the bullet and take the car? It's still early in the year. And this actually is you know, a pretty darn cold year. Another consideration is the fact that I'm only going to have... 300, 400 kilometers uh, on the bike this year before I head down to Nova Scotia. Um, that's yeah, it's about 700, 800 kilometers plus the ferry ride each way. So that and that's a bit of a trip because you end up getting into a lot of traffic, and and it's a whole different ball game once you hit the mainland. So I've got to think about that, but I'll tell you right now, I'm actually feeling really good about being on the bike. I have, most years, as soon as I got on the bike, feel like I've been there before. I feel like I've been here all the time. That doesn't mean I can't uh, worry about, well, I'm not going to worry about mistakes, but I have to concentrate about what I am doing. Uh, I cannot be complacent and just let myself go on body memory on the bike. Uh, it is that constant vigilance uh, thing that you really have to do. And it's going to take, you know, it's the first thousand kilometers every single year when you get back on the bike before you really have acclimatized at all. So, those are all of the things I'm contemplating on my way to work today. And uh, I don't have to make up my mind for sure until the very last moment. But, uh, oh, green light. Is that a sign? I wonder. So, we'll just have to see. But I just, you know, I thought this morning would be a good time just to think about that and try to figure that out on my way into work. And here we are popping into Frenchman's Cove on the way and I'm thinking to myself, I really have to bring the, uh, the drone over here and, and do a little bit of, uh, of drone work through here. Anyway, let's see if uh, next week I'm producing a video on going off to Nova Scotia. Thanks for watching this and uh, take a look at some of my other videos. Subscribe if you will. Hit the like button. That would be great. All right.